Hello guys. Welcome to XTech Review. Today I will show how to create 3D animated photo in Adobe Photoshop CC by Photomotion X. So let's get started. First open the preset project file. I will give the download link in the inbox. If you want the Photomotion X, just comment below. I will give you the link. If you have the latest version, then just click and open this. Now wait for it to load. Now open the it. Click here. Now click to add photo. Import the portrait that you want. 3D effect. Now drag it down. And now scale it. Now get back to main dashboard. Now lock the frame. Click on window then effect portrait. Click check on the box. Now the mare is locked. Now next part. Now we have to set face map. Click here. Now match the face parts. Like this. It will automatically detect the face. Now you can adjust the face map by dragging the orange icon. Click here to adjust more precisely. Now if the mask looks ok, then go back to the dashboard. Now next two process will appear here. Drag the timeline to one second. Now drag the blue circle like this, to move the face in direction you want.
see the 3D animation is working. Click here and check box to hide the blue circle. Now you can add more effects on this. Or you can export this. Right away. You can increase the depth of field. To add effect click here. Activate the particle. Check the box to add some cool effect. Like this. You can change the effect by changing the value. Now you can work with the effects or anything you want. Be your own master of art. Check this box to activate Boomerg. It will replay the animation during the whole length of the video. Now click on the green export button. Here you can choose the resolution that you want to render. Just select one of these. Now choose the time length of the animation. Enter the value here. Now the cut sequence is ready to render. You can also put some cool effect before the final render. Click on this blue button. Here you will find your suitable effects. To apply the effect. Just copy by Ctrl C and then paste it by Ctrl V on the main dashboard. So now you can finally render this project. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe to our channel. That's all for today. Peace out.